Okay now, James, here you go my PC, I'm going to pee. Do not boot up Cyberpunk or parted copy of GTA 6 from Telegram. Alright, I trust you with this one. Wait, how the fuck? Well, hello and welcome. A few weeks ago, I brought a brand new PC for 1400 euros. Jesus Christ. Mission and in this video, we will see of how big of an upgrade is it from this to this. Before we start, I need to say every game will be played on the same hard drive and on the same 1080p 60Hz monitor. Because new PC might have left a big difference between old and new one, it also made a big hole in my bank account. Literally. So I didn't test on my new Samsung monitor. Enough of chit chatting, James, boot up the benchmark! Released on 28th September 2013, Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag was a major success, selling well over 4 million copies worldwide, and being the game of the year just right besides GTA 5. On old PC maximum settings, it could even achieve 30 FPS consistently. Well, let's just try high settings with medium shadows. And nope. And you know what, I'm not going to touch the graphics anymore. If I downgrade even more, the game will lose its unique look, for my opinion. You can go to downgrade graphics to something medium or low and it will look something like this. And then it will get consistent 60 FPS, but not very beautiful. Switching now to my new PC on absolutely maximum settings, the frame rate didn't even flinch from 60. Well, only for volumetric clouds during the ship combat, but that's just for to be expected, you know. Wow Ubisoft. Where are the games like this one? Released on 25th of May 2021, Biomutant is an open world RPG game with non linear liner fuck it, linear gameplay. On the medium preset, the old PC couldn't even handle it properly, for that said the processor was a 100% utilization. Yeah. Keep in mind that OBS would take about 10 to 15% of the processor utilization. The frame rate would bounce from stable 40 FPS all the way down to low 20s. Switching to the new PC, you can already see the difference, and I think that I don't need to explain much. It's pretty enjoyable experience. Bang on Ball! Released on 3rd March 2021, Bang on Balls is an adventure platformer focused on exploring and banging someone's balls. Uh. On old PC, on high settings, game was mostly bottlenecked by the CPU, as you can see on the laggy footage. Without recording, you can play at solid 50 to 60 FPS for 90% of the time. Hey, I know that because I played this game for 30 hours. Okay, shut 
Shut, shut, shut. Switching to the new PC, it absolutely destroys this game, hitting the engine frame cap of 200 FPS. It's the most intensive part of the game. Well, that's now called very impressive. Unga bunga. Unga bunga. Unga bunga. Unga bunga. You stupid. But I'll tell you what, you fat little. Released on 27 August 2019, Control won multiple game awards, being almost the game of the year for how beautiful it is. Wow. Old PC actually could hold on pretty well with low settings reaching into higher 60s. And I actually also tried medium preset and it actually hold on with OBS in background, it managed to do pretty stable 60 FPS experience. Not bad 1650, not bad. Switching now to a beast, I cranked all the settings to the absolute maximum and actually without DSS 3.0 it managed over 90 FPS. Turning on the DLSS 3.0, the FPS almost doubled from 90 to 150. that I don't need to explain this game much. On old PC, the frame rate was all over the place. One second it is stable, one second it's in the negative. So if you have PC like my past one, then I do not recommend CS2. Only if you are going to record with GeForce app, but it's still going to be trash gameplay. Switching to new PC, it blows up old PC out of water, from unstable 10 FPS to 200 plus FPS, on the highest setting. So, pretty much it can be said a high refresh rate experience. Released on 8 March 2019, Devil May Cry 5 won the Game Award of Best Action Game and Best Game Soundtrack of 2019. Old PC could actually play Devil May Cry 5 on high settings, but the stutter was not very pleasing for my eyes nor the recording. It wasn't game breaker, but it was seriously noticeable. Going to new PC, well, how optimized the game was, it's a smooth 60 FPS experience. It has a frame cap sadly, but it is what it is. It's still pretty darn good game, even on old PC. I seriously recommend it to all of you who are watching.
Released in 17 November 2022, Goat Simulator 3 is in a short term meme game and has a bunch of internet memes in form of tasks. And has a cooperative mode for 4 players so you can do memes with your friends. Old PC on medium settings, it could do 40 plus FPS for 90% of the time. Even though it would drop that fast from all the tasking effects of fire. Yeah, what a surprise. Switching to new PC, in from all of the effects and a goat that watched too many Ghost Rider edits, it wouldn't drop from 100 plus FPS. PC with recording it was a stuttering mess. It was all the time going up and down from smooth 60 FPS to low 20s, especially while there were a lot of effects. Because this game is relying on good effects, because the theme of the game is literally chaos. So, switching to now new PC, it plays this game as smoothly as you could imagine. This game also doesn't need any introduction, only if you're living under the rock for the past 15 years. On old PC, the footage has around 10 frames per minute and by those 10 frames we can see that on 12 chunks render distance, the game is running in 60 FPS. Not bad. Turning on shaders, more specifically Makeup Ultra Fast, on original preset, it did actually get pretty stable 30 FPS. For most of the time.
Switching to new PC, I turned on Shader right from the start, on 20 chunk render distance, and it managed to get over 100 FPS all the time. Turning on 64x64 64 64 texture pack, the frame rate fell from consistent 100 to consistent 50 FPS, which is still pretty damn impressive. Released on 25th January 2019, Resident Evil 2 is a remake of original 1998 game made by Capcom, and the remake also won the Game of the Year 2019. This is also another game that I didn't dare to boot up on my old PC, because, you know, it could actually fry my CPU after all it has been through. So we are not going to do that, and let's see how does the new PC play this masterpiece. And well, on absolute maximum settings with RTX on, it managed 100 plus FPS all the time. And last, but at least, Resident Evil 4. Don't judge me, I don't have anything in mind to test, okay? Released on 23rd March 2023, Resident Evil 4 is, of course, a remake of an original 2005 Resident Evil 4. And it also got 4 Game Awards in 2023. The Resident Evil 4 Chainsaw demo was smoothly playable in 60fps without any stuttering. Yes, I played demo because my new PC took everything from my bank account. I should better hurry up this video. Well, that's it. In conclusion, if you have PC same or similar specs to my old PC of course, and you play games or in more intensive make content, you should definitely upgrade. It is worth it. Spending 1400 euros to upgrade from a PC that cost you 2 times less to get 8 times better performance, baby, it is worth it. Again, this video was played in 1080p 60Hz monitor and that could vary significantly on the type of monitor you have. To the end of the month my new ultra wide sensor monitor should arrive, but it arrived just yesterday while recording the script. And from now on my videos will be in 4040p 60fps. Don't worry, I'm now going to continue the Just Cause series that I started. Well that's it, see you in a month or so when I decide to make a new video.